Hi, today we're going to talk about significant figures. Significant figures are sometimes referred to as significant digits, but what I refer to a lot as just sig figs, and so do a lot of other teachers. So I have some rules for significant figures for figuring out which numbers are significant and which aren't. The mo most important thing is that the rules have to be followed in order. So you have to do rule one first, and then rule two, and then rule three, etc. So let's get to the rules. All right, the first rule is that all non-zeros are significant. So I find the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 0.56. Those are all non-zeros. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant figures. Six significant figures. That's the easy one. Second one's also pretty easy. The second rule is all zeros between non-zeros are significant. So if I had 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 0.56, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant figures. That zero, it's significant because it's between non-zeros. But likewise, if I had one, zero, 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 two, three, four, five, six, and put the decimal anywhere, it doesn't matter. All of those zeros are significant because all three of those zeros are between non-zeros. So you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine significant figures. Okay? Nine significant figures. All right, rule number three, zeros at the beginning of the number are never significant. This is really important because this is the one you're going to mess up the most. So if my number was 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that has four significant figures. These zeros are non-significant, 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures. Four significant figures. Now, it doesn't matter if there's a decimal in it or not. I can have 0 0.0001234. And these are not significant. You have four significant figures. So zeros at the beginning of a number, never significant. Zeros at the end of the number, that's where things get a little bit tricky. So that's one of the ones we want to spend a little bit of time on. Zeros at the end of the number are sometimes significant. There's two easy rules to figure out if it's significant or not. And the first rule is this. If the decimal is visible, so if you see a decimal anywhere in the number, those zeros are significant. But again, it's at the end. So if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 0.5600, 0, my decimal is showing. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 significant figures. My decimal is showing. If I have this, Are those zeros significant? The decimal is showing, but they're at the beginning of a number. And we already said that zeros at the beginning of a number are never significant. So those are not significant. I have five significant figures in that case. If I have this number, well, let's look at it. Zeros at the beginning of a number are never significant. Zeros at the end of a number, sometimes significant. Is my decimal showing? Yes, it is. That tells me those zeros at the end are significant. So I have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. The last rule is really easy. If the decimal is invisible, the dec if the decimal is invisible, the digits are not significant. Again, we're talking about zeros at the end. So if I have 12,340, no decimal, that has one, two, three, four significant figures. No decimal is showing. Is it there? Yep but it's invisible, so we're looking for visibility. Can you see it or can you not see it? However, if we take that same number and add a decimal to the end, now that zero is significant. And we have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So it's really important to follow the rules in order. Don't follow them in order and you won't get the problems right. <laughs> 